fishy time. His friends still live, his friends still fight. Their cause is not forlorn. The night is dark and full of terrors and dreadful, but we may yet see the dawn. Though Erdria is racked with darkness, suffering and pain, the luminary's light can shine upon this land again. Did I, as a fish, just fall off a bed? How does that make sense? I've lost the power of the luminary. Wait, wait, what does that say? I look at the mirror, he sees the fa face of a fish staring back at him. He opens his mouth as wide as he can, and the fish does the same. Hawkward sighs and a string of small bubbles float out of the fish's mouth and drift up to the ceiling. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you're awake. You're alert. You're alive. Your breath was getting shorter. You couldn't breathe the water. But look at you now. It's an unequivocal miracle. Queen Marina. So does that mean... <gasps> cool. That's cool. What's this thing? I didn't notice this. <gasps> oh. Okay, yeah. We now have full reign of the village. Hi! This is something I... I can't remember if I was able to explore, or if I did explore the ocean floor last times, but... Now we raid! Now we raid properly! There's a lot of goodies down here. So no quests to be had yet. Whee! What do fish need with a bar? Not that I'm complaining. But what do fish need with a bar? What do fish need with buildings? <laughs> I, I lied. Technically it's what do mermaids need with a bar and building, but I hate to admit it, that makes far more sense. I've seen the Little Mermaid. I know how they do. I know how they do. Mouth. Well, technically, they absolutely do drink. Maybe it's alcoholic uh, fish food. Sorry, I am not one to judge. I am not one to judge. Any creature of this earth or of Airdria can get drunk. Yes, I, I fully acknowledge that. Who am I to judge? Me of all people. Can I not swim up there? I still need your help? Fine. You say our guest has finally recovered from his wounds. Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, and soon. Ugh. Sorry. Ugh. Your Majesty. Don't fear for me. I have not done yet. Until my work is finished, I'll find the strength to carry on. I shall not be diminished. Ah, there you are, old friend. <laughs> or should I say, new fish. You make a finer flounder than I ever dared to wish. When first my subjects brought you here, it gave me such a shock to see you bruised and broken like a shipwreck on the rocks. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. The seas swarm with his spies. 
I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. Many troubled months have come and gone since your arrival. As you slept, my healers strove to safeguard your survival. You cannot know how glad I am to see you fully healed, but soon the spell will fade and you will you must once more take the field. I have a plan to see you safe, that's all I've ever wished. If all goes well, you'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions, I can see it in your eyes. I saw you battle bravely by the World Tree's holy heart. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. I saw you strive to fell the fiend, and how your plans were vexed. When you are ready, follow me to see what happened next. After I say hello to Shark Friend. Her Majesty's waiting for you in a private room. It's just through these doors. Don't cause any trouble, or I'll ha you'll have to do. Bleh, you'll have me to deal with. No threat to eat me, because it could be done. Definitely could be done. And eons passed since last I brought a human to this cave. It is the private parlor of the queen beneath the waves. Behold, the pearl of wisdom, jewel of we, the ocean's daughters. It's, it lets its bearer view the world through any drop of water. I've summoned up a thunderstorm to saturate the ground. Now, Let's ascend into the rain and take a look around. Whenever you are ready, touch your fin against the pearl, and you shall see what comes to pass there in your airy world. Any goodies? Any goodies? Nope. Okay. The once fair land of Eridria is now a ravaged shell. When Mordigan destroyed his heart, the holy world tree fell. Upon its fall the world was with a searing storm despoiled. Trees and grasses burned to ashes, lakes and rivers boiled. Burning boulders fell to earth and pulverized the land. Mountains cracked and realms were cracked at his unholy hand. In one fell swoop, the Lord of Shadows ended countless lives. The lucky few who rode the storm out struggled to survive. The days are filled with depression. Sorry. The days are filled with desperation, misery, and tears. I see them quake and tremble, but I cannot calm their fears. Oh, this part was spooky in 3D. Like, legit scary. Please, help. Somebody, please. Is, is someone there? Please, help me. <gasps> dun 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 dun! Well, this, this takes away from the mystery of who that is. <laughs> Definitely takes away from the mystery of who that is. Hi, Hendrick! Henny Winnie. Our homes are gone. Our families and friends, too. All we have left is our lives. We can't just sit down and die. We have to keep walking. Or is that Hendrick speaking? We have to keep following the hero. They say he's built a fortress south of Heliodor. If we can make our way there, we'll be safe. Don't give up, okay? This hero guy won't let us down. 
Once we get to the last bastion, every everything will be fine. You'll see. I'm starting to speak in the rhythm of rhymes. <laughs> A few more short steps lead from darkness into dawn. Safe ha haven awaits. Amid the black depths of despair, a spark of light still shines, a man who gives the people hope in these benighted times. Yet that light too shall soon succumb to evil's ceaseless claim. Only you can take that spark and kindle it to flame. So, okay. Now granted, I, I don't remember where we go from here. But how come she just didn't drop me into human form right then and there, right in front of Hendrik? So I could be like, oh, hi, buddy. I'm here to help. Yggdrasil has crashed to Earth. Her light has disappeared. Though, why does it look like she's, it's still, f or I guess it's floating in the water? Okay, whatever. In her place, the Lord of Shadow Shadows, Citadel of Fear. He took the scared world. <sighs> Fuck it. I cannot read right now. I'm tired. <laughs> He took the sacred world tree's power, and now makes it his own. Foul Multigan commands the world from his unholy throne. His forces seek to steal the souls of every last survivor. His flying servants sweep the skies, the sea swarm with his divers. I could never remember how to pronounce this name, so I'm going to butcher it. Alizarin, the fiend that seeks to devastate my nation, another one of Morrigan's detestable creations. I've cast a spell to hold him back, but need it to be stronger. The barrier is at breaking point and cannot last much longer. I'd hoped that I could save my realm. It was a foolish notion. Compared to his, my strength is but a raindrop in the ocean. Ere long, the barrier will fall, and Nautico will too. Marauding beasts may take my life, but they shall not take you. Our time grows short. I fear my kingdom's race is nearly run. My place is with my subjects now. We, f we face our fate as one. Swimmy, swimmy, swimmy. Swimmy, 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 swimmy. Make me human, damn it! Queen Marina summoned all her subjects to the square. It seems to be important. I'd suggest you head to there. We must proceed without delay if we are to heed the queen's call. Shall I take you directly to the entrance hall? Then place your fin into my palm, and hand in hand we'll go around the royal dais to the chamber down below. How curious you are, my friends. I showed you fearful sights, and yet those wide and watery eyes still gleam with limpid light. It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel's fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. And yet you've weathered every blow, prevailed against all strife. You've brushed with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. It is the will of Yggdrasil that you are still alive. It is your fate to save this world, for this you must survive. Bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. Find the fading sparks of hope, and kindle them to flame. You'll find the sparks I speak of here and there throughout the land. They are the former members of your staunch and stalwart band. The fire within their hearts will light the path that you must tread. Find your friends and e bring an end to this dark age of dread. Uh, I don't find it annoying at all. It's not a rainbow road, but a rainbow... Whirlpool? <laughs> While the luminary lives, there's hope for people still. 
You cannot fail, you must preva prevail. It is the world tree's will. Beware! The barrier shakes and breaks! The Lord of Shadows followers give fond farewells, short strife, shrift, short shrift. I had so much to tell you, but it seems I must be swift. Bye! Do not lose heart, do not look back, until your time is through. Remember, you're the Luminary. We believe in you. Rot row. Citizens of Nautica, give your lives to the Lord of Shadows. <laughs> scatter, scatter, scatter. There aren't going to be shinies here, are there? Oh, hi. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to play with it just like real fish do. Yes, yes, no. Yes, no. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Nibble, nibble, nibble. Nibble and bite. Oh! Blue John's hooked himself a big one! Could it be the legendary man eating Mar Marco? Let's read them in and find out! <coughs> God, she's in the worst voices. Yes! I caught something! I actually caught something! Blue John's gonna eat, going to eat tonight! Yeah! Maybe there is some good in this forsaken world after all! Hi! Who the heck are you? Uh, what are you doing on the end of me hook? I don't care how hungry you are. You don't go pitching the bait off another man's line. Hey now. Don't cry, Sonny. It hurt, though. Biting a hook? It hurt. Look, I don't know what's got you sniffling, but it must be something serious. Oh, also... <laughs> what is this? Aragorn's magic floating armor? Look at me. I'm all decked out, dude. There's no crying in armor like this. So listen, Blue John's gonna help you out. We fisher folk gotta look after each other, ain't we? You can stay the night at my hut. There's none too many safe places left in this rotten world, but it'll do you for a day or two. When you're ready, you can head over to the last bastion. They'll see you, right? The fellas running the place is a bona fide hero. Right, now that's decided, Let's head to shore. Hold on tight, lad. Things are about to get choppy. Looks pretty smooth to me. <laughs> and magically a ship. Hi there, Sonny. So you finally roused yourself from your slumbers, eh? Blue John had say good morning, but there ain't no morning to speak of these days. You hadn't noticed? Why, we've seen nothing but dark sky since the day of the disaster. Ah, uh, just look at the state of it. <clears throat> there was an almighty booming and rumbling, and then great bouts of blackness started billowing up from the castle over in Heliodor. Since then, nothing's been right. That was the last time any of us saw the sun. That ain't good. We better hide and fast. Never mind. We're good. That was a close one. The monster started pouring out of Helidor Castle about the same time as the blackness. The rotters seemed to think they owned the place. 
They've never come so near before, though. I'll be looking for food, I'll warrant. And that Blue John was thinking he'd found himself a safe spot. Listen, seems the vittles around these parts are set to get mighty scarce. I hate to send you packing, Sonny, but I reckon you'd best be on your way. You'll be safer over the last bastion, anyhow. Go on and get yourself over there before the monsters spot you. That hero fellow will look after you, I'm sure. He's a good on that one. A spark of hope in these, these dark old times. Steer course due west until you hit Cobbleson Falls. The last bastion lies just beyond. Might not go, Sonny. Do you sell stuff? Yes, you do. Not that I have every anything I really want to sell. At least yet. Not until I get everyone back. A toggle here. Oh, okay. Sorry, I I guess I should have read all that. Uh so it says something about um Tinkington also having some issues nowadays. Yes, let's go. <gasps> Tickety boo. Damage, okay. An altar to, to undo the damage that's been done to the sacred tomes. You'll need to find the toggles who have been dispatched to Adrian and ask him. Oh, wait. Where am I going? <laughs> was this a way just to get. Okay, I think it was just a way to get Tinky Ting back on my Zoom list. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Glad I could do that. Wait, oh, yeah, you're still here. Oh, is this the only way that I can go to Tinkington? No. I might have missed something in in skipping all that text. I hope I didn't. Rut row. Rut row. Uh, what? Ooh. Let's say what vicious monsters do we have. I'll take a vicious you anytime. Uh, except I don't have any special moves. He is pretty vicious. He's sticking around to beat me up. Am I gonna die trying to go for this stupid metal slime? I think I am. Let's be smart. Let's be smarter about this. Dog, man, you're so slow. Sandy, there you are. And where did you run off to, might I ask? Woof, woof. Oh, my, it's that's really you, isn't it? You, 
You're alive! And you've... You've come back to us. Oh, I've been so, so worried. Especially after... Well, we heard such awful things. Oh, oh Sandy. You're right, of course. This is the best news I could have hoped for. And here I am blubbering like a baby. Yeah. The poor man's Bianca, yeah. Because she don't go out journeying kicking butt with you. Welcome home. Woof, woof, woof! It's not quite the cobblestone we grew up in, isn't it? No, we've been through a lot. After you left, this terrible man named Jasper came. I'll, I'll never forget his eyes. They were so cold. He, he rounded us all up in the center of the village, and then he ordered his men to kill us. But we were lucky. Not everyone is as cruel as Jasper. No, another soldier came and told him to stop. He said there was no need to take our lives. But that didn't stop them from burning the village to the ground and locking us all up in the castle. Still, that one good man made sure we came to no harm. Woof, woof. Sorry, Sandy. You're right. He's just got home after a long journey. He doesn't want to hear me blathering on. Come on. Let's go and see the one person who'll be even happier to see you than me. I still don't know my hometown. Still need directions. Oh, I guess we're not going to my house anyway, so. <laughs> Come on, girls. Put your backs into it. The boys are out there doing the fighting, so it's up to us to keep the home fires burning. So, sorry to interrupt, Amber. But I've got big news. Hello, Gemma, love. What's got you so excited, hmm? Well, you're not going to believe this, but there's someone very special here to see you. My little soldier. I, I just can't believe it's you. After all the awful things that happened, I was sure you were... Sure you were... <laughs> when the disaster struck, so many people lost their lives. The sun vanished, and those terrible monsters appeared all over the place. Even those of us who were lucky enough to survive were so drained and desperate, desperate that, I, that we almost lost the will to live. And then the hero appeared, just when we needed him. He did all that he could to help people, no matter who they were or where they were from. He fought off the monsters and brought everyone here to safety. Without him, I dread to think what would have become of us. And now, thanks to him, the place you once knew as Cobbleston has become the last bastion. Humanity's safe haven in a world beset by darkness. Would you believe we've even got the King of Helidor camped out here? Oh, really? Look, I knew he was the one who ordered the village to be burned, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Things aren't always as they seem, love. He may be the last person you want to see, but you should go and talk things through with the king. Your grandfather would have wanted you to at least try. Just pop your head around the door of his tent, will you, love? For me? It's practically slap bang in the middle of the village. You can't miss it. And be polite. If I have to, mummy, but first can I raid tents? I would like to raid tents, please. Uh, I'm kind of having flashbacks of there being absolutely nothing to raid in the last fashion. Nada, nada, nada. Of course, these tents are kind of literally the buildings re rebuilt in tent form, so... Yeah. That's why there's open treasure chests. What? 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 Okay, maybe there is stuff to raid. Yup.
So I need to recheck all the outside things again? Is that what I'm... Is that what I'm gathering? Oh my god, come on. I came in like a wrecking ball. All I wanted was to break them all. So, you are alive and well, I see. You have nothing to fear. I have regained my senses at last. The living nightmare that began for me on the day of your birth has ended. Though in truth, I remember little of what I did. I have inflicted so much pain on so many. On you. I do not ask for your forgiveness. I do not deserve it. All I ask is that I be allowed to atone to pay for my crimes by protecting those who remain. Tell me, do you recall what happened on that fateful day? The events that came to pass beneath Yggdrasil's branches? I see. I recall nothing. All I know is that whomever, or whatever, had me in its grasp for all those years left me there. And when at long last I returned to my senses, I was here. There is something else I must ask you. Tell me, do you know if my daughter is alive? I do. I see. He doesn't. I do. Your Majesty. The hero has returned. He brings more survivors seeking sanctuary. Come, you must meet he who, to whom we owe our survival, though you may not wish to at first. Well, 2D mode already spoiled it anyway, so... So many identical town folk! Hmm. The Luminary lives. Welcome back, Hendrik. Well, what news? The forces of darkness amass at the gates of Heliodor. They will strike and soon. Sire, the people must be removed to safety. Men, all the signs are that our enemy will strike tonight. To arms, they shall not find us unprepared. As you see, he is as eloquent as ever. But you must forgive him. He has fought harder than any of us. He has sacrificed more than anyone, which is why his burden must be lightened. It is time that your differences were set aside, Luminary. Mankind needs you. Hendrik needs you. Will you stand beside him? Good. If we are able to withstand the assault tonight, we may yet survive. Join the troops outside the fortress when you are ready. I have nothing else to do, so I'd be ready. Hey, you must be our newest recruit. They say you made it all the way to the last bastion under your own steam. Well, I'm impressed, I've got to tell you. You can obviously handle yourself. That, or you were born lucky. Well, either way, I'm sure we can find a use for you. Follow me. Right, here's your spot. Just face that way, and when the monsters come, stick the pointy end of your sword in them. Don't look so worried, you'll be fine. <laughs> I have the cool armor now. Enemy forces, here they come! Not a lot of them. Positions, men! Still not love him. Charge! <laughs> Zombie apocalypse indeed. Who has the baseball bat? Uh, should we just go for Hendrick? Yeah. 
I could fight a couple, but me. Behind you! <sighs> Never let down your guard. You will need to pull your weight if we are to escape this one. Have at them! Our beloved commander, brightest and best of the spectral sentinels, spake truly when he spake of thee, Hendrik. Thou art without a shred of guile, and other would have fled the field long ago. But I have no complaints. Our reward for tearing thee limb from limb shall be a handsome one indeed. <laughs> Well, fools, wherefore gape is he like ninnies? Kill him! Had this hunt. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna boom away. Oh, thank you. He is playing his role of meat shield. Great retreat! T time to take flight! Commander! A message from His Majesty. He wishes to speak with you. Both of you. Right away. Good job, men. Except you. Oh, okay, you're alive. Seems we owe you both a debt of gratitude. You have proven your strength and your ability to work together. It is time, time to bring light back to this benighted land. The fiend that usurped my throne must be ousted. Heliodor must be reclaimed. And you, my loyal servants, must lead the charge. But, but sire. I do not give these orders lightly, Hendrik. My spies have found a means by which we might gain an advantage. The city sewers can be entered from the cliffs in the side of the hilltop, uh, the hill atop which Helidor stands. You will use these sewers to infiltrate the castle from beneath. This key will unlock the gate. Hendrik the hard ass or Hendrik's hard ass? Mm. But sire. Who will command our forces in my absence? If the enemy renews the attack, we will be slaughtered. We will not. We will be prepared. Prepared to draw them out. Leaving the castle unguarded. The usurper must be overthrown while we have the chance. We strike now or we never see the light of day again. Please, your majesty. We cannot allow yet more lives to be lost. Precisely. Which is why you must quell the darkness at its source. We seize our one opportunity, or we consign ourselves to despair. It is as simple as that. Or do you question the wisdom of your king? My subjects have shown me the depth of their courage. I trust in their ability to endure this one last assault, and I order you to do likewise. 
You are our last hope. Do not let us down. After an all too brief rest, the time comes for the set out of a heli door. Bye, Sandy. Bye. Penny Wenny. Uh, Jade calls him that earlier in the game. Wait, love. Mr. Hendrick, sir, I couldn't have a quick word with my boy, could I? I won't be long, I promise. As long as it is quick. So you're heading off again, are you? Well, just you be sure to listen to Sir Hendrick and do as you're told. And don't you dare go giving up, ever. Just look at me. Something's wrong with my eyes now, too. Must be all this squinting in the dark. Well... Only one remedy for that. You'll just have to bring back the light. Promise? Time is short. We must be on our way. You'll look after my boy, won't you, Sir Hendrick? Obsidian. See the lady back to safety. Very assuring, that man. Do not worry about your mother. The king has vowed to protect her and the people of the encampment, and he is a man of his word. Now he is. We need to enter the castle and find the source of the darkness. There is a church on the hill beneath Heliodor. We will base ourselves while we search for the entrance to the sewers. Magically appeared in the church. Fine, one more save. The muddiest and most delicious of waters. Uh, not here. Oh, can you, you not even get in the downtown right now? You can't even get in the downtown. How about that? So the assault begins. Move. This is no time for idling. Wait. This isn't... Okay, I was about to say, that's not the path. Let's not wake the dragon. Vicious bubble slimes. Uh, I want to say hi to the dragon. I really, 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 really wish they found some way to do the red eyes. I miss the red eyes. I want to be stupid. Let me be stupid. Let me be stupid, game. Let me be stupid. I mean, this is stupid. Thank you, Henny. Aww, oh, Hawkeye, you was. May stupidity rain. Can I collect a reward? I can collect that reward. Nice, 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 nice. Anything else? Eh. I would say that was worth it. I would say that was totally worth it. I mean, it's red eyes. I could make these eyes red. That's all I'm saying.
from my very minimalistic experience of creating monster sprites, I could make these eyes red. I wish I could zoom in right now. In fact, I will. This is going to be bad. It is a grand total of eight, maybe ten sprite or er, pixels to make red. Like they don't even have to be bright red. They can be like this color. It's not a big deal. I tend to not simplify too much because I give people the benefit of the doubt of how difficult things are, but again, it's... No, I'm, I, I'm not giving them a pass this time. That would be... Oh, hi. I did not expect to get in here this time. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it! Uh, shiny, 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 shiny. The bottom line, if they can move, go out of their way to create brand new sprites for all, what, 200, almost 200 monsters in this game, from scratch, most of them, they can make red eyes. Yeah, like any any monster that was never has never been on a 2D Dragon Quest game, they had to make these all from from scratch. Like the big Jockey's four-armed Goro dude, that's brand new in Dragon Quest 11. They made sprites for it. Even this, uh, this skull with the horn, now granted that's not completely brand new, but like it's an altered version. So basically, they have the pixel art abilities to make these brand new monster sprites. They can then tweak the existing ones a bit to make red eyes. I'm not a pixel artist by any means. But yes, I am simplifying the fact that it is easy to make red eyes on pixel art. I'll even do it. When I edit this video, I will do it. I will do it myself. <laughs> How about that? Let's go back in time and see what the various monsters would look like with red eyes done by yours truly. Like, this guy might be reused. Yeah, per yeah, from 6. But not all of the monsters are reused. A lot of them are from scratch. random tangent one thing that's kind of bothered me I'm enjoying 2d mode but one thing that's kind of bugged me about 2d mode is that they're making a lot of very odd decisions in terms of what they're changing what they're tweaking what they're adding what they're subtracting it's just kind of odd oh it totally is generic but at least it's some sort of Instead of just putting, oh, this is a vicious metal slime, even though it looks the same. It was a neat little touch when you return to the the post Yggdrasil tree world, in my opinion. Andrik, I need you to beat up on that malicious metal slime there. Damn it! Well, there you go. If, if it was a dark aura, like the dark 
land or dark world in Dragon Quest VIII in sprites, it would just be a palette change. That would work. Uh, the outer glow, that would be too difficult. That would actually be too difficult. Not difficult, I mean like it's 2020 and like you can do whatever the fuck you want with uh, with design programs out there, I'm sure. But I guess it's whether it's worth the time and effort to do that. But I don't think it's personally worth, or not worth the time and effort in 2020 to make 16-bit style sprites have red fucking eyes. Alright, rant over. I'm done. Ah! So close. I did that on purpose. The easy, the easy peasy one. I don't know why I freaked out. I'm gonna keep on using that move. Yeah, if I can take out all these annoying battles in one shot, I'll do it. Holy treasure! I can rest down there. And I'm going to. One shot. Hell yeah. That move is almost laughable now. Take out all these guys on one blow. Aw, oh, Henny and I are taking a nap together. We're cuddling close on that tiny bed. How adorable. Henny Wenny. Time to mission, like all the times that I've taken uh, taken naps before boss battles. Absolutely. Exact opposite of poop. But. Excuse me. <gasps> How dare you not kill him in one shot, you weakling? All right, this baby down. The game doesn't want want me to get nostalgic and go back into the cells that Eric and I were in. Eh, let them cry in pain. They'll survive it. The king's protecting them, right? Alright, well if you think the people are suffering right now, I'm gonna take another nap. Because I use a lot of magic. I'm gonna take another damn nap with my cuddle buddy Henny Wenny. And then we will go. Oh, spoo. 
spooky. Spooky, spooky, spooky. That's fantastic, but it is not an uber platinum sword. Or it's not a gigantic platinum sword, so take it away. Did I miss... Did I miss a room? Mm, no. Okay. Can I sleep in this bed? Oh. Hendrix just a great cuddle buddy. I just want to take all the naps with him. Uh, since I know we gotta go that way later, I will skip this. This looks like a good bed, Hendrik. No, you don't want to cuddle anymore? Ooh. Even the great stairway lies in ruins. Stairways, uh. Two. Great stairways, uh. The Usupa will be in the throne room if he is anywhere. He must be found and punished, which means we must seek another way up. Uh, I feel like there's shinies here. Can I leave? I was waiting for her. Take that, Iron Maiden, and your great music. There's no time to waste. To the throne room, now! Bossy, 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 bossy. To the well, now! Aww. Nothing? Okay. For having lost the power of the luminary, I can still uh, vision things. Come, Jasper. Wait, are they kids? Come, Jasper. Do your worst. If you insist. Ha! Curse you, Hendrik. Brute strength wins the day again. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know if they're kids or not. I don't. But... Oh, I think they are. <laughs> it is good to see two young men with such spirit. Okay, I was wondering what that looked like. Like, what the fuck is he wearing? But then I realized he's wearing a baby. But I order you to cease your horseplay and greet our latest arrival. I present Princess Jade. When you grow older, you will be the guardians of this great kingdom. I am counting on you. And now, so is she. With my might and your wisdom, we will surely be- I feel like they're a little older now. We will surely be the greatest knights this kingdom has ever seen. Long may we protect the princess and all her people. Jasper, are you listening to me? What is this? Here it is, in black and white. The shield of Heliodor, symbol of the great kingdom's greatest knights. His Majesty keeps it in his private chambers. If we are destined to become such men one day, one of us will surely wear it. I would very much like to see it, wouldn't you? And how do you propose we do that? One cannot, one cannot simply stroll into the king's chambers uninvited. Oh, I have my ways. I just so happen to spy a certain someone treating himself to a midnight feast in the kitchens. None other than his royal majesty. He slithered out of a secret passage behind a cupboard and set about the leftovers. 
That passage must lead to his chambers. <laughs> you devil. You have solved the mystery of his bulging belly. The queen will make you an earl for such a service to the kingdom. We meet in the kitchen at midnight, agreed? Agreed. Exactly. <laughs> Glad somebody got it. Of course. The secret entrance to the king's chambers. But what was that? A vision? A dream? So this is your power, Luminary. You are able to draw on the memories amassed within the world tree. To pry into others' pasts. Very impressive. The kitchen is on the north side of the castle, beyond the banquet hall. Come. Can we skip through? Nope. Oh, I saw my shiny. I love that there's a, a dish right in the center of the table that is literally the size of a human. Maybe that's what the monsters were serving. They were serving human. Okay. Oh. Wait, what? Oh. Oh, there's even a ladder there. I'm dumb. This dresser wobbles slightly when you touch it. Try moving it? Yes. I did not make it here that night, you know. I was caught trying to slip out of my chambers. The king made me polish all the armor in the castle. Jasper was disgusted with me. We had a furious argument. We had so many in those days. But there was more happiness than strife. Life was simple. We had a purpose. We would have stood together in defense of Helidol no matter what. I have treated you poorly. Forgive me. My loyalties have been tested, but not by you. Whatever lies ahead, we must face it together. Will you stand beside me? He li I literally am right there. Ew, a leather cape. Nice, 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 and nice. Du, 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 du. One more cuddle. One more cuddle. Oh, no, okay. Fine. Treasure! I see treasure! Oh my god, so many battles. I went from hating not having random battles to missing not having random battles. I'll fully admit it. Yep. There should be a lot of recipes to make when, uh, when I get everyone back. Ever so convenient sage elixirs before a boss battle. 
I should have always been drinking though, shouldn't have I? That was cool. You have done well to make it here, old friend. And with the dark spawn in tow, no less. Oh, bravo. Jasper. Temper, temper. Brute force may have won the day once upon a time, but things are very different now. Why? Why do you give yourself to the darkness? What of our pact? We swore fealty to Teliador. We promised to protect the kingdom, together. Why? You of all people ask me why? <laughs> Does something amuse you, traitor? It is I who must ask you why, surely. Got this flashback central. Why is it that you always thought yourself so much better than me? Why was it always who you was... You why was it always you who was given the golden opportunities? Why was it always you who got just what you wanted? Why, hmm? Tell me why! Aw, oh, snap. Again, always, lesson for everyone. Always give a handshake or a high five. Don't leave anyone hanging. You never know what a demonic, evil being they might become. Well, no more. I will be second best no longer. I know the truth now. Love, dreams, light, friendship. All these count for naught. All that matters is power. And the only power that matters is that of darkness. There is one who sees me, the worth in me. Who deserves my fealty. Who deserves the power I crave. And all who stand in his way must be destroyed. Psych. I lost my hometown, my family, my friends, all to the dark power that you serve. I lost my faith, my purpose. Though some call me hero, I believed I was a fraud and that I was powerless to protect them. But I can protect, but I can protect them. I must. And there is one I must protect above all others. It is the Luminary's duty to deliver the world from evil, and it is my duty to protect him. Jasper, you are a traitor to your kingdom, a servant of evil and a threat to the servant of light. I sentence you to death. Really, old friend, forgive me if I do not begin quaking just yet. Now let us end this farce. You will outdo me no longer, Hendrik. This time it is I who have been chosen, and you who will fade into obscurity. <laughs> Jasper. <laughs> <laughs> well met, worms. I am Tyrant, servant of the Lord of Shadows and proud bearer of the title of Spectral Sentinel. You would return to the world of brightness? <laughs> Fools. <laughs> Wretches. The time of light is no more. 
The Age of Darkness looms. It is not Jasper, no. It is Tyrant. All is as the Lord of Shadows wills it. As long as I yet live, the dawn shall not return to this place. I will admit, it wasn't that obvious. My first playthrough, I thought this was Jasper too. Now step forward, friends. Eternal night awaits. <laughs> okay, there's nothing I can do. Meat shield, front and center, please. You dick, you dick. You dick. I forgot about that. Nothing else much to do. Oh, except I should probably heal myself now. Hello. Uh, did I just read that one of them is prepared to take all? Yep. Okay. Oh, Tyrant was prepared to take, or was that? I can't read this fast. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my darling darkness, do not leave me. Do not let the light prevail. Hey, purple aura, purple skin people, purple orb. Oh, and purple hair for Hendrick. Everything's purple right now. Purple for Twitch. Purple rain. If only. Oh, can you jump over that gap? Obsidian. Thank heavens I have one truly faithful friend. The darkness may have dissipated, but we cannot know what toll the battle took. We must return to the last bastion and see what, if anything, remains. How are you getting over the bridge? How did you get over the bridge, Sir Horsey? Someone! Anyone! Your Majesty! Please! Somebody! Wait, that noise. <gasps> Sandy. Woof, woof. Oh, come raise your voices and song. We brought days of sunshine work up. Oh, come sing and join and light of a truth that will ever drive me to the one if I die. Yes, they matter how they do it. One thing I'm out of one. It's a great song, I'm sure. Great song. You did it, Hendrick. You saved us all. Out of my way! Let me through! Let me look at you in daylight at last. Oh yes, my handsome little soldier. My hero. Just look at you. That's the best singing. Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> you set aside your differences with Hendrick, with me, and fought to bring back the light. We are forever in your debt. The world is still in a desperate state, but now we have something. We have hope. We have the Luminary. 
May you banish the darkness once and for all. Hendrik, my ever faithful knight, today's victory is as much yours as anyone's. Your strength, too, will be needed in the struggle to free the world from evil. You know what you must do. The people of the Last Bastion will learn to make do without you, as I hope I will. Mm -hmm. So please, do not hesitate. Do what you know you must. Honored Luminary, I serve you now. Though it cost me, though it cost me my life, I will stand beside you until the darkness is no more. First time playthrough, best twist. That's a great twist. I loved it. Dawn breaks in Heliodor. The first victory in the fight against the darkness is ours. The celebrations of the last bastion continue long into the night, and the sound of joyous songs echoes through the valley. <laughs> then the morning comes, burner. Okay. Sup, new buddy. Okay. Okay. Here is my dilemma. He is a kick-ass axe wielder. We know that. We already know that. But I want to change things up. I don't really want to give him great sword because that's what Hawkeye is. And I, again, I just want to change things up. So I might just make him a regular sword user. And unlike last time, he could finally use the um, the Halidorian shield. So, oh, that's such a decrease, though. Eh, you never know. You never know with the uh, the skill points assigned. And who knows? Maybe the axes can be the uh, the backup one. Seventy-three. I. That swords him up. Am I gonna be able to? I think I'm gonna be able to close this whole thing out. But he doesn't get Falcon Slash, really. Okay, um, he is a hero. Let's make him, let's do this heroism stuff. There's Falcon Slash. Yes. Okay, yeah, this'll, this'll work out for a while. Okay. I trust that you slept well. Oh, sorry, I missed that. Or did the people perhaps not permit the luxury of rest, eh? <laughs> it's nice having a replay now. Ha, <laughs> even better. There is no surer sign of a kingdom at peace than a high-spirited populace. Now, to more serious matters. Hedrick, there is something I wish you to have. The, the shield of Heliodor. But, but sire, you are like a son to me, and it is a father's duty to prepare his offspring for the dangers that await them. You will have need of it, I am sure. You wear it well. The shield has always been the mark of our mightiest knight, and here I was complaining that he needed, you know, more defense. Doi. There can be none mightier than the Luminary's own guardian. You have no complaints, I trust? No, my liege. I understand that you had had hoped for the World Tree to guide you on your quest. Alas, it is no more. But all hope is not lost. Your father once told me that Yggdrasil was not the only sacred place in Erdria. He spoke of another, a holy mountain in the south known as Pang Lai. The fate of those who dwell there is deeply intertwined with that of the Luminary, or so he said. It may be mere heresy. 
hearsay, sorry, it may be mere hearsay, a conversation half remembered, but if it is true, you may yet find help in your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows. Venture west through the Mangle Grove, and you will find a valley that leads to the coast of Alor. Pass through the checkpoint beyond it. You will soon found Mount Peng Lai. It is not a road I have traveled myself. Be prepared, and may your journey be a safe one. Hey. Now. Meow. Oh. Let's see if this is a good idea. I want to see if that's a good idea. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. I think this is a good idea, and I can't wait to test it out. I think this is a good idea. For now. 